This is a faulty double plug adapter with USB thing. And the problem with this is that the USBs have stopped working. The plugs are fine. And hopefully I can show you that. So this is a plug tester. If we pop that in there. You see the three orange lights means that that plug is okay. So let's plug this in. We get a blue light up there, shows it's on. We get the three orange lights in that plug. Three orange lights in that plug. So the plugs are absolutely fine. It's just the USB. So if we plug this in, which way around does it go? That way, obviously. So we're getting no output on the USB. Do that one. No output. No output. And no output. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's making a funny noise. Let me bring it close to the microphone. It's like a bit of a chirping noise, which is a bit weird. But let's try and open it up, and let's see if we can figure out how it works. It looks like it's got Y screws in here. So I might have to use my hashtag not sponsored iFixit toolkit. Obviously I need to be careful because this thing's been plugged in. Well, let's uh, see if we can have a look around. So. We're plugging it in here and we've got, I'm going to use plastic. Uh, we've got the presumably neutral here. And is that the live, the white? I don't know. It's hard to see. And we've got the earth at the top there, the green. That's That must be the earth. Right, so, I think that, that's, like I said, that was working. That's fairly self-explanatory, I think. It's just extending it to those two points there. And then this board here, got some kind of transformer here. And then we're running these two wires here to this board here, which is the USB board. So I'm going to take a guess that it's something on this board here. I think this is all, well, I don't know. That might not be outputting the 5 volts that it needs can I check that without electrocute myself? That would be good, wouldn't it? I think I'll take this board out. Uh, that's, as, that's as far as I can get it out. Right, well what I could do, so the, the, the wires go to this point here, here and here. I could just see if we've got five volts there. If I just plug this in very carefully, I can just plug it in like this. Yeah, it's making that noise again. All right, let's see if there's five volts here. Multimeter in. Voltage DC. Have we got five volts between here and here? Oh. No. No, we don't. Okay, let's unplug that. So that might explain why it's not working. So does that mean it's something on here that's not working? Let's take this one out. I mean, I'm assuming this thing at the top here is the surge protection part of this. 
Yeah, because that's on here. That marries up with where it says surge protection and the LED. I don't fully understand how that works. Right. Wow. There's more going on here than I thought there would be. In fact, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to disconnect these wires here because it's possible that something in here is putting a short on that. So I'm going to disconnect these wires and then see if there's 5 volts at the end of the wires rather than on the board. I think that makes sense. It does in my head, as usual. Right, rather than risk poking around on this thing, I'm just going to put these crocodile clips on. Now we should be able to see if there's any voltage at the end of that wire now. I'm going to be very careful here. Okay, plugging it in. There we go. Yeah, 5 volts. There we go. So the voltage is going down this wire, so that is actually okay. Which I'm kind of glad about, because it looks very complicated. So that means there is something on this board. Right, let's unplug this. How long are the 5 volts going to stay there for? Quite a while. It's very stable as well, isn't it? There we go, it's gone. I unplugged it from the other end, by the way, in case you're wondering, because I didn't want to unplug it from here. Uh, right, so let's have a look at this board. Luckily, there's not a lot on this one. There's a chip here. We've got a few resistors, a few capacitors, some big caps. That's it, there's nothing on that side. All right, well, let's just see if we've got any short... In fact, let's just see if the positive and negative rails are shorted together. Let's put the multimeter on... Continuity. Yeah, but although it didn't beep straight away. Let's put it on ohms. There you go, zero. Zero point one. So we've got a short between the positive and the negative. So the negative here is on these capacitors. Positive runs around there. Which is, does that just go straight into these USBs then? So the the female USB ports have got four pins on, which is right. The left side one, presumably, is the 5 volts positive, because that just runs straight from there. So how does the rest of this circuit work? I mean, given that it's here, I wonder if it's one of these capacitors that's putting a short on, but I don't think I've ever had one of those big electrolytic capacitors shorted before. It's usually one of the little SMD ceramic ones. Well, maybe I should take them off, and then we'll see. It won't take me long, there's only three. Right, there we go, there's one. Let's see if the short's still there. Yes, it is. Right, let's do the next one. My uh, extractor fan. There we go. That's better. Right. See the short's still there. Yes, it is. Right. Last one. Check it out. No way. Yeah, it's gone. I can't remember which one was which now. No, that one's okay. Yeah, that one's okay. Which means my process of elimination. Yeah, it's that one. I've never seen one of those shorted before. In fact, well, that might be me taking it off, but it looks like a, a little bit burnt here. You see that? Hmm. Right, well, what capacitors are they? They are 560 microfarad, 10 volts. Are they all the same? I'm guessing they are. 560, 10 volts. Right. I don't think I've got any of those. I'll, I'll have a look. Yes, I do have some here, but they are considerably bigger. Much, much bigger. 
and they are 560 microfarad, but they're 25 volts, which should be fine. But I'm not sure they're going to fit. How much clearance did we have on here? If that was in there like that. Uh, hmm, might have to bend them, bend them over, which is not ideal. Mind you, yeah, it might be okay. Well, presumably I, they they can only go as high as the USB ports because they go in there, so they can only be. Do you know what I mean? So if the board's behind it, they can only go as high as that, which is a lot smaller than that. Right. Well, let's just see what I can do. I mean, I can put two of them back in, can't I? Because two of them were okay. So I only need one. Right, so that, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the two in that are working in these two. And I'm going to put the big one here. And hopefully I can bend it over. Does that make sense? Let's start with the big one and make sure that it fits. I think that might be okay. Yeah, I think that, that's going to be fine. And then I'll put the other two in here. Awesome. I think we're good. Clean that up a bit. Ice proper alcohol, 99.9%. Pure. Sure. Right, let's just make sure that they're not shorted now. Well, we should. If we check it on ohms. Yeah, it's like it's in the kilo ohms. So that should be absolutely fine, hopefully. Right, well, I think I just need to put this back together now. So I'm going to do that. And then we can test it. In fact, I need to solder these back in, don't I? Right, now I can put it back together. Right, well, let's give it a test. We're plugged in at the other end. Please don't explode. Okay, we got the blue light on. It's not making that noise. That's a good sign. Make sure the plugs are still okay. Yep. Yep. All right, let's check the USB. Oh! <laughs> 5 volts, well 5.06 to be precise, 5.06, 5.06, and 5.06. Well, let's just make sure that it is working as intended. Let's see if it charges my phone up. Oh, my phone's fully charged. That was a bad example, Steve. Let's plug in my... Uh, Thing. There we go. Thing? I can never remember what it's called. Uh, grinding pen. Yes, it's charging. And we got a red light on here to show that it's charging. Let's just try it in a different one. Yep, yeah, red light and charging. Same. And same. Nice! Stupid short. Oops, I forgot to put Dave in. Sorry, Dave. And you know we don't give a fuck cause it's your birthday. You find me in the club, bottom full of bug, and mommy, I got your next video.